Software as a Service, otherwise known as SaaS, is a product type offered in AWS Marketplace. SaaS products allow sellers to run applications in their own AWS infrastructure account, while allowing customers to leverage the benefits of unified billing and the AWS payment platform. In this video, we will cover the three pricing options available to you as a SaaS seller. SaaS Subscription As a seller, you can track customer usage and customers are billed only for what they use. This pay-as-you-go pricing model should be familiar to your customers because it's similar to how many other AWS services are billed. SaaS Contracts Customers commit to an upfront payment for what they expect their usage to be for one month, one year, two year, or three year contract terms. Customers are billed in advance for the use of your software. SaaS contract with consumption. A hybrid of subscription and contract, this option allows AWS to charge customers a fixed amount and then report additional usage through metering API calls. Let's look more at the SaaS subscription model. In this model, you set prices for a variety of dimensions and your customers are billed only for what they use while they are subscribed to your product. There are no upfront costs and customers can cancel at any time. SaaS subscriptions are a great option when you are selling software for end users like developers or smaller businesses who may not know their usage needs. Your application tracks usage per customer across each dimension, and you, as the seller, must use the AWS Marketplace Metering Service to report customers' metered usage back to AWS Marketplace. We then use the metering data that you have provided to bill customers for their usage of your SaaS product. All charges must be measured and reported every hour. On this AWS Marketplace product page, you will find an example of how subscription dimensions are displayed along with the dimension descriptions, pricing, and the unit category. As shown in this example, once a customer has subscribed to the product, they are then able to view the dimensions in the pricing details section. When submitting a SaaS subscription product in the AWS Marketplace Management Portal, you'll have the opportunity to set your product's pricing and define the dimensions. First, select the category that best describes your product's pricing. The product category appears to customers on the AWS Marketplace website, as shown here. Choose from bandwidth data, hosts, requests, tiers, or users. If none of the predefined categories fit your needs, you can choose the more generic Units category. Note that the category cannot be changed after a product request has been submitted, and we recommend leveraging the generic unit category if you intend to update dimensions later in the future. To add additional dimensions, select Add Pricing Dimension. Here you have the ability to add up to 24 dimensions per product. Now, let's take a moment to go over the SaaS contract pricing model. With this option, customers commit to an upfront charge for their expected usage. Contracts can be offered at a one month, one year, two year, or three year term. SaaS contracts are a great option when you're selling to larger organizations who want to lock in a discount by pre-purchasing a fixed amount of software over a set period of time. In order to retrieve information about the customer's contract and what it entitles them to, you will use the AWS Marketplace Entitlement Service. To better explain this concept, let's take a look at how contract dimensions are displayed on the AWS Marketplace product page. Here, along with the dimensions description, you will also find pricing, unit category, and contract duration. Once a customer has subscribed to the product, the product's dimensions are displayed. Customers have the ability to select a duration. If you've opted to give customers the option to choose a single dimension, the contract type is set as tiers. Here's how the dimensions are displayed. 
If the contract type is set to allow customers to choose one or more dimensions, here is how they are displayed, with the number of units per dimension. When submitting a SaaS contract product in the AWS Marketplace Management Portal, the pricing section is where you'll set the pricing and contract details. First, you'll select the contract duration you want to offer, then select the contract type. Here you choose how customers purchase a dimension by giving them the option to choose a single dimension or allowing them to choose one or more dimensions that you are offering, as shown in this example. Next, you'll determine the unit category. Once these are all set, you'll have the ability to set the detail for each dimension. Now that we've reviewed both SaaS subscription and contract pricing models, let's take a look at SaaS contract with consumption pricing. This is an extension of the SaaS contracts pricing model, giving the added ability to have your customers pay as they go for additional usage on top of their set contract price. Contracts with consumption pricing allow customers to pre-purchase a set amount of software, but also seamlessly add and pay for more usage when they need it. All of the same concepts with SaaS contracts apply here. The difference is that you will set prices for additional usage fees. On this product page, you will see an example of how additional usage fees are displayed, and again, how the fields are displayed on the order page. To set consumption pricing on a SaaS contracts product, you'll navigate to the pricing section of the product you are submitting. Here, you'll have the option to add additional usage fees to a dimension. To do this, click the checkbox, enter the API dimension name, which can be reused for metering and entitlement dimensions, then enter a description and a price. To add additional usage fees unrelated to a dimension, scroll to the bottom, click Add another usage fee, and then enter information in each field. Throughout this video, we covered the three SaaS pricing options available to you as a seller in AWS Marketplace. SaaS Subscription, a pay-as-you-go pricing model familiar to your customers because it's similar to how many other AWS services are billed. SaaS Contracts, payments billed in advance for the use of your software and SaaS contracts with consumption, a hybrid of the first two, allowing AWS to charge a fixed amount and add additional usage fees based on consumption. Additional details and documentation supporting the different SaaS pricing models can be found in the AWS Marketplace Seller Guide, linked within the description of this video. If you have any additional questions regarding the content we've covered, Feel free to open our support request by selecting Contact Us on the AWS Marketplace Management Portal. On behalf of the AWS Marketplace team, thank you for taking the time to watch this video.